All right, so here's a quick update on the water meth setup. Um, we tried the nozzles and the drilled out nozzles and it just wasn't quite enough. So then we tried it with no nozzle and then we got some pretty good results. Um, so tomorrow we're going to put a GoPro up front. We made a little nicer mount for it to inject it right in front of the blades so that um, they'll have minimum, you know, damage from having to hit water at super high speeds and stuff. So I'm aiming it as close to the center as possible. And it should look pretty cool in the video because I don't have a blow-off valve and the mist will make the, uh, like, surging visible. So it should look pretty cool between gears and stuff. Here's a little test hit. So yeah, we'll see that in action tomorrow with the GoPro. And I also ordered a, uh, a solenoid to go up close to here to get rid of this delay. So that the solenoid can come on right when the pump comes on and then it'll hold this from back draining and then every time I kick it on it'll instantly squirt instead of having that dumb delay. But just for testing now it works fine. So here's the results. Um, it's definitely going to work a lot better when I have the ECU triggering it because um, I'll have a, a solenoid on it so that it won't have a delay and I'll also have it come on at the right time. But you can clearly see the intake air temperature doesn't get nearly as hot as it used to with boost in RPM. And over here I timed it a lot better when I hit it this time and you can see it hardly goes up at all. And then also it doesn't heat soak. The temperature comes back down and is actually lower than it was before. 39.4 Celsius and 38.9 after the pull. 37.8. And then you can see at the end here is a pull that I did where I didn't hit the water meth. And you can see that's the highest intake air temp we got of the whole run. So yeah, it's definitely working. We just need to refine it a little bit and... Um, see how nice we can get it to run with minimal amounts of money.